acceptance. People tell you that your life will be better when you learn to live with acceptance. What do they mean by acceptance? Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman. I'm very glad you came by today to join us for a gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. And you can find us at metaphysicalministryinternational.com. Now we begin every week in our ministry telling you a little bit about what in the world does it mean? A metaphysical ministry? You've heard of quantum physics? Or maybe you haven't. The science is catching up with the teachings that have existed for thousands and thousands and thousands of years and they call it quantum physics. It's how you create your reality with your thoughts that the observer influences what they're observing. So that's the brief overview. The fact is that what you can observe, being able to hear and taste, touch, smell, and see, that is allowing you to experience less than 1%, less than 1% of what exists in the world. So be able to witness and enjoy the bigger, fuller picture of life to understand the space between you and me is filled with energy. It is an empty space. Science has proven that. To be able to do that, you want to know how to go beyond your five senses and experience other dimensions. We begin with a happy share and that's something that leaves you feeling happy and good. Now my happy share this week is I really like being me. I have to work really, really hard to appear normal. I have to work hard to speak, to speak clearly, <laughs> just to get a sound out. Earlier this morning I opened my mouth and not very much sound came out, but that's okay. I did a lot of choking today just on my own saliva because swallowing is a challenge for me. I get really, really dizzy and I know how to function when I'm dizzy. And walking and running, it's all things I have to do consciously. So why do I say I enjoy being me? Hey, life's an adventure to savor in each moment and my walking, talking, swallowing is getting better and better and better. And that means I'm healing. Because healing, well, here's where that acceptance thing comes in. Healing doesn't mean I get to be how I used to be. Healing means I get to accept myself exactly as I am and exactly as I am not anymore. And I get to move forward from here every day because in each minute hey I'm not interested in surviving I don't ever want to be average I'm a thriver and I can show you how to do it too because it all starts in here and in here in your heart so acceptance means being okay with what is not assigning a meaning of good or bad, of happy or sad, but just being okay with the situation as it is. And as you take strides in the direction of living in acceptance, you're going to have your stress level just plummet. Things just won't bother you. That bother you now. Look in the big picture. What really matters? What's really important? Take a look at your priorities. Figure it out. Being okay with what is will change your life drastically. Moving into a place where you spend a whole lot more time feeling light being light, being happy, 
wanting to share what your talents and gifts are with everybody out there. After all, isn't that why you're here? Isn't that why you have gifts? And what if you don't even know yet what your gifts are? Be okay with what is. Keep listening with your heart. Not necessarily your ears. So that you can recognize the messages coming from the universe. Coming from your guides. Coming from your angels. Coming from nature. Coming from the animals and even the plants around you. They're all alive. They all vibrate. They all send out messages. And yes, science has shown that too. Now, if you are on the ministry page and you look up there, you'll see a page called Hold a Space For. Holding a space for somebody is picturing them living a reality that they asked us to help them realize. So sometimes it might be wanting a car. They had somebody on the home of space page who wanted a car and these really cool events happened and she wound up with a car. Maybe it's finding a job that you really wanted but it's kind of something you made up and you didn't know it existed and then you get a phone call and says, hey, we decided that we want a partner in doing such and such. Will you join us? Maybe it's finding a course you didn't know existed. Maybe it's finding a partner who really, really lets you feel good about who you are as you help him or her feel good about being who he or she is. I don't know what it is for you, but if you let us know by filling in a comment down there, it'll also appear up on that page. And then you come back at least once a week and you tell your family and friends to do so. Read each name, read the request, and it goes out to the universe each time somebody says it in a bigger and bigger, bigger, bigger thought form. So the universe knows, hey, you really want this. I'm going to pay a little more attention here. And when it's in your highest and best interest, you'll get it. Now here's the thing. When you ask for something, the universe brings it to you right away. But you need to take action to receive it. Always. I really appreciate your click and like and share. Let people know we're here. There are a lot of people out there these days on a spiritual path wanting to understand what it means to create your reality. And here's a place where you can ask your questions. By the way, that's a hint, hint, ask your questions. What do you want to know more about in creating your reality? And if you're going over there, if you haven't already done so, you can be your name and email address. Well, this is if you're on the ministry site. You can be your name and email address, and I will send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. It will be an eye-opening, more importantly, a heart and spirit awakening for you. I wish you a week filled with many blessings as you step into the reality of being okay with what is.